What's happening with y'all, baby? Tall guy back with another video with the police sitting right there. Ooh, we already looking for me. I hope not, man. But five things we hate about the Camaro ZL1. Are you curious to know what my opinions are about it and how I feel about it and the five things I hate about it? Let's get it, man. Number one thing that I hate about the Camaro ZL1, even though this is a beautiful beast and it goes super fast and it looks amazing and there's a whole lot more good things about it than there is bad things. I'm just going to name the five things that I actually hate about it. And number one, is how low this car actually is. It makes it actually really hard for me to get in and out of this car since I'm 6'10". Now, if you're a regular sized human being, obviously that's not such a bad thing for you. Look at that front lip. It hangs down and it scrapes just about everything. Uh, that's kind of like what a Corvette would do to me. So I don't feel like a Camaro should have to deal with that. But obviously that helps with going around the track and you know, G-Force going around corners and so on and so on and so on. Number two. I hate the back seat room. Look at this, man. I have no headroom. Obviously, now, like I said again, I'm six foot ten. Obviously, everything isn't made for big, abnormally sized human beings like myself. But I mean, come on, man. This is ridiculous. Not to mention, there is absolutely no back seat room. I can put this back. I can't even lock the front passenger seat back because obviously one I'm too tall and the second reason is there's just no back seat room back here at all now number three you would think I would complain about the legroom and headroom right but the headroom in this actually isn't too bad and the legroom isn't too bad if you want to see more about that and hear more about that go watch the review I did with this Camaro Z01 if you want to see more but number three is actually this right here oh, okay now before I was so brutally interrupted by the music here in this Camaro Z01 number three was actually this little small gesture right here now just going from here to here look at my elbow and look at my shoulder is my elbow above my shoulder so if it's hard or uncomfortable i should say for a tall person like myself imagine how it is for the normal sized human beings of the world to just do this to this like you can't even be chill and just you know what i mean like imagine if you want it's a nice summer day and you want to get a honey if you out there single and you want to just put the arm out the window and kind of dangle it's like so high up that you can't even really have no drip so you kind of got to be like this you know but anybody with some drip gonna want to put that arm out the window kind of day you know it might be that kind of day man so you know if you want to do that in this new camaro z01 that's going to be a problem even for your abnormally sized human beings like myself now it might not sound like much but look at how I'm looking straight through right here, right? You see how the windshield is kind of slanted like a tank versus a car where it's like more, the windshield's more vertically up. Now, obviously the windshield's slanted because that probably helps with like airflow, you know, how this breaks through the wind, you know, all the little logistics and scientific stuff that people do to make cars go fast. But for tall people, this is an inconvenience. The reason why it makes it, the car look cool, now that's the upside, but the downside is if you're tall, this is your view right here. So when you come up to a light, you got literally dip down and look up. Now that might not sound like much, but when you're tall, it, it can start to wear and tear on the neck and the back. But for short people, you're probably about right here, so it's not so bad for you. But for us tall people, you're about right here, champ. Now that might not sound like a huge inconvenience to the people out there who may want to buy this car, but for the super tall people, what you can do, you have two options. You can either pull up to the light and do this right here, or you can like hunch over or whatever. Or the second option is what you can do is as you're pulling up to the light, don't pull all the way up to the line. Stay a good distance back so that way you can see that light. Now number five can be looked at as something you hate or something you love, which is kind of crazy because most people don't do that in the five things that they hate about a car that they're doing a video on. But number five for me is how small it can feel in here at times now what i mean by that is i obviously have a challenger hellcat so there's a lot of room in there at all times right it never feels like you're in a small confined space now obviously like i've said throughout this video i'm an abnormally sized human being so everything's going to feel relatively small to me and people like me women like me guys like me it's just the way it is now for your average size human being i can't really speak on how they would feel in here all i'm doing is speaking on it from my opinion sometimes i feel a bit claustrophobic in here now does that mean i don't like it no because the way they in which they made it is obviously to be more of a race car or a sports car i should say more than a muscle car and in order for them to make this camaro z01 you know uh, such a good high performance sports car they have to do weight reduction they have to do obviously the styling isn't just for looks it's for like aer aerodynamics and all that other good stuff so they did a whole bunch of stuff that i can't really touch on that i don't really know about this that probably made the cabin space super small no back seats that probably is for insurance purposes really and then you got the big bullshit up seats lightweight more lightweight stuff than it is in the challenger hellcats and all that other 
other stuff. So obviously it's like this way for a reason, but sometimes it can start to feel a bit claustrophobic when you've been in here for a super long time. But at the same time, I've driven it for a super long time and I've been super duper comfortable. It's just a little bit different or a little slightly uncomfortable than it is in my Challenger Hellcat. So those are the five things that I hate most about this Camaro Z01. Now let's touch on the five things that I love most about this Camaro Z01. This is number one, starting that thing up. You hear that thing? Does it not sound legendary? And it has 200 on the dash. I guess that's all just included. Now, number two is something that I wish my Challenger Hellcat had, and that's these lights right here, man. The lights, it might not seem like much, and it might not seem like a big deal, but at nighttime, man, it makes this thing light up like a Christmas tree, and it's also on that door right here. So you have the lights on the door, you have the lights right here behind the screen on this little trimming piece right here. It goes all the way down and around. And you got it on this door right here. And you have it on your cup holder right here. Because what it does is it adds a bit of luxury feel to a sports car, which is actually a super cool feeling, man. Number three is one amazing thing that should be on every single car. And if you watch all my car reviews, then you know exactly what I'm about to say if you haven't seen it already. That beautiful heads up display that you see right there on that windshield. If you can't see it by now, then you must be legally blind. Cause look how it looks, man. That thing looks so crispy, man. It's hard to get the thing to focus in on it, but look at it. You can literally see your windshield, your music and everything that you're playing right there on the windshield if i can get, just get that joint to focus in there we go you can see your miles per hour and you can see the music that you're playing right there man like you don't even have to take your eyes off the road in order to see your miles per hour hell you don't even have to look at the screen right here to see what song is playing number four is actually quite simple man that's just the way this camaro looks man it's just the sharp edges everything about it from front to back is just amazing looking the headlights are ridiculous let me cut them on i mean come on man does it get much better than that on a sports car slash muscle car man i think it's legendary and look at the hood that carbon fiber with the z01 right there with that scoop look at that now y'all have to know what number five is if you haven't guessed it by now it's that beautiful beast right there that supercharged lt4 producing 650 horsepower it's 650 pound feet of torque, man. Let's close that thing and let's get in the car and drive. Now, obviously the five things that I hate and love about this Camaro Z01 might be different than the five things you hate or would love about this Camaro Z01. But either way it goes, how to summarize this joint is this is a beautiful monster. Look, insane. Like look how to go around this corner. I'm gonna put the two hands on the wheel like this and go around. And of course, I'm in track mode. And these ain't even the highest category of rims or wheels that you can have. Thumbs up, man, and I'll see you on the next one.